Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Egal Talks Football. We are back again with another video. And today, we need to talk. Has Arsenal done enough in this transfer window? Let me know. Because we haven't done much besides sign Calafuri and a bunch of goalkeepers. Really and truly, we still need to get more in. Mikel Moreno, that deal looks like it's getting closer and closer to getting done. Apparently, it could even be for $17 million. Yes. We might be getting the deal of the century for, for Mikel Moreno. Also... Who are we going to sign in the attack? Because Eddie Nketi is being linked away. Reese Nelson is being linked away. We got to get something in return for these guys. Am I wrong? Also, hmm, a little birdie's talking about Aaron Ramsdale potentially being sold late in the window also. That could free up some cash for some other signings. But to me, it doesn't make sense to loan him out just to bring in another goalkeeper. If Unless we're going to get a reasonable buy sell-on clause or something else for that. All of this, plus some Michaela Modric conversation. Personally, it's annoying, but we're going to talk about it. Let's get into it. Our sort of news today, ladies and gentlemen. What do we have to talk about? First things first. I need you guys. I need you guys to talk to me about a certain player. We need to talk about Mikel Moreno. Reason why we need to talk about Mikel Moreno. Apparently, apparently, Mikel Moreno to Arsenal is almost done yes yeah, apparently Mikel Moreno to Arsenal is almost done this is a deal that we've been speaking about for a while now we've been speaking about Mikel Moreno to Arsenal Mikel Moreno this Mikel Moreno that even uh, even they tried to offer Mikel Moreno a new contract in the final minutes uh, uh, and days before before his thing but reportedly uh, many clubs have tried to convince Zubamendi to join their clubs including Barcelona Bayern Arsenal but clarify that he never were in negotiations for Zubamendi this summer. Arsenal were never in negotiations for Zubamendi. The player we were in conversations for was Mikel Moreno. And yesterday, reports came out that his representatives asked Real Sociedad not to price him out of a move for Arsenal. And Arsenal are looking at a deal worth 25 million euros. That uh, Sorry, 25 million pounds. Yet Sociedad agreed. That Sociedad have yet to agree on terms. Now, we have heard... We have heard Today, that Mikel Moreno to Arsenal could be done. Now, we also heard some other stuff about Mikel Moreno potentially going for 17 million, but that is not concrete news as we need to wait and see if, if there's more news on that. But at this moment in time, the Mikel Moreno 17 million euro stuff that we've seen, let me see if I can find anything on that. Uh, yeah, so Arsenal's Arsenal trans. Uh, Arsenal are heavily looking at Mikel Moreno, and yeah, this is what this is where it is. Arsenal reportedly, reportedly from um, an, uh, an Arsenal account, uh, Con Marble Halls, big, a big big Arsenal fan right here. Con Marble Halls, uh, he says that Arsenal have reached an agreement with Real Sociedad to sign Mikel Moreno for 17 million. The transfer is mo most. Uh, most uh, is almost uh, finalized, and Mikel Moreno is set to arrive in London for a medical and checkup once the remaining formal formalizations are complete. Now, I'm not going to take this with a grain of salt. I'm I'm just going to say this is what's being reported. Doesn't mean it's 100% guaranteed truth or fact, but at this moment in time, they are reporting that it's getting closer and it could be for 17 million. Now. You guys already know Pedro Neto is going to Chelsea. You guys already know Pedro Neto is going to Chelsea. But with Pedro Neto going to Chelsea, people are now linking Arsenal back to a certain Mudrik. Yes, Mudrik. People are saying Arsenal should go back in for Mudrik. Or Arsenal fans, would you take Mudrik? My question to you guys is, would you guys take Mudrik at Arsenal? In my opinion... He has been shocking in his time uh, at Chelsea, and I don't think we should go back in for Michaela Modric, and at no price we should go back in for him. But with, with Pedro Neto headed to Chelsea, you now have numerous Arsenal accounts twerking for Michaela Modric, and to me, I don't get it. You got, uh, would, would it be crazy if Arteta pushed for Arsenal to sign Mikhailo Modric on a reduced fee. I, I can't, you can feel it in the air, Edu said. Then you have Mo coming out saying 
I don't call I don't care who this rattles, but bring him home. You have other ones saying, uh, with Chelsea signing Pedro Neto, should Arsenal be in for Mudrik? And then you also have another one here saying, uh, yeah, F it, bring Mudrik to my club. First of all, that's not how the club is gonna work. This is ridiculous. Uh why are we why are we even entertaining this anymore? And it's not just those accounts, it's numerous accounts also. There's a lot of accounts talking about Michaela Mudrick. Bring Michaela Mudrick, like, nah, we gotta chill. Guys gotta chill. Michaela Mudrick's staying at Chelsea, he's not joining Arsenal. There's no serious links. You guys are just adding two plus two to equal 17. Like it's not it's not working. It's not it, the math ain't mad ain't adding up. Personally, for me, Michaela Mudrick, those days are gone. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on, people, for God's sakes. Um, next, uh, before we talk about Eddie and Ketty or Reese Nelson, we got to quickly speak about Yacarez. Victor Yacarez is still the striker we want Arsenal to sign this summer. He is the final piece of the puzzle. Uh, some people are saying, personally for me, uh, I need to see more from Victor Yacarez in a sense, but he does seem like he's the most tangible option available at this moment in time. But yeah, here is the situation with Modric, let me just bring it back one more time to the Michaela Modric situation. Um, 100%, uh, uh, some some fans would take Michaela Modric at Arsenal, but would you guys take Michaela Modric at Arsenal? Do you think this could be a Kai Havertz 2.0 situation? Because in my opinion, I just don't think it's a good, reasonable decision to make at this moment in time. Um, but yeah, that's just me. Um, before we go any further, do me a favor. Please do hit that like button. Please do hit that subscribe button. And... I need to be careful because some some of these tweets are not actually new. Some of them are just people giving opinion pieces. So I need to make sure I'm extra careful with what I'm telling you guys is news and what I'm telling you is just opinions. Um, so yeah, the Michaela Modric situation is just an opinion piece. Next, um, Wolves hold strong interest in Arsenal goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with Aaron Ramsdale. Wolves are apparently holding interest. We've had interest from Newcastle. We've had interest from Southampton. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with him. Um, next, uh, what else is there that's next? Uh, nothing more on that. Oh, Eddie Nketiah to Marseille. Um, the situation is Marseille have, yet, uh, have sent a new offer to Arsenal. David Onsen has also tweeted about it and said something across the lines that Arsenal are willing to accept a certain amount of money for Eddie Nketiah. Uh, reports are also coming out from other sources that Eddie Nketiah is going to be headed to Marseille. The told Eddie Nketiah is focused on joining Marseille. Roberto De Zerbi is pushing hard for the deal. But Bournemouth have made inquiries to check in to the potential and jumping in on the move as they have just sold Dominic Solanke to Tottenham. Yes, Dominic Solanke is headed to uh, is already now an, officially a Tottenham player. So with Dominic Solanke now officially a, a Tottenham player, we we now have a situation where we could see Bournemouth heading in the conversation for none other than the man himself. Eddie Nketia. Eddie Nketia could replace Dominic Solanke at Bournemouth, and I think he would get a reasonable goal tally if he was the starting striker at Bournemouth. Let's see what happens, because now that Tottenham have signed Dominic Solanke, which I think is a good deal, by the way. They did pay a little bit over the odds, $65 million, but everybody's uh, paying ridiculous fees for players nowadays. $65 million in the grand scheme of things for a striker who scored 19 goals is not bad. Um, next, um, we need to talk about Reese Nelson. Reese Nelson, yes. So with the situation, with the situation that Reese Nelson probably will not get much game time in the England team, he's now going to potentially be choosing Jamaica as his national a national team. Yes, it's understood. Jamaica manager Steve Man, uh, Steve Claret has contacted Reese Nelson about representing uh, the prospect of playing for the Reggae Boys. We're gonna have to wait and see. He might he might actually jump on the bandwagon and 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 link up with them, as he he has Jamaican descent in his blood. Also, um, there is rumors about Reese Nelson potentially leaving. Also, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens there. Not much more in there, but we will be playing a, a preseason a pre another preseason game versus Leon in the coming days. We're gonna have to wait and see what happens there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just looking around, don't see nothing else. Arsenal related. If there's any more Arsenal related news, I will keep you guys posted.
But yeah, we did do a video yesterday also where we spoke about um, the, the possibility of signing Leroy Sané, possibility of signing Kingsley Coleman. They, uh, Bayern are doing a clear out and they might want to move out some of those guys. Would you be interested in any of those guys? Michaela Mudrik, would you be interested in him? And of course, the main conversation of the day, Eddie Nketia and 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 uh, Mikel Moreno. And finally, the last piece of the puzzle, Frankie de Jong is available at Bayern, uh, at Barcelona. Barcelona are making, uh, Barca are ready to move on uh, from de Jong. I don't think, um, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think we're going to get, I don't think we're going to sign Frank. We've been linked to Frankie for so long. I think Frankie is going to probably stay at Bar uh, Barcelona. I don't see Frankie De Jong leaving. Like, let's keep it 100. Let's keep it 100. Frankie De Jong is going to probably want to stay at Barcelona. And Barcelona probably going to want to keep him. So that is... A pipe dream where we already got the Mikel Moreno deal pretty much done and dusted. That is going to be the guy we end up signing. And also, he's on a ridiculous wages. He's making 38 million a year. He's the highest paid player in the La Liga, partially because of deferred wages, but still ridiculous. If you, if you don't ask, if if I don't say so myself. Anyways, I'm out of here, people. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video and check out my Man United video. I'm going to be doing, posting that soon. Also, peace.